Hey Google, stop. Good morning. Um, I took a couple weeks off from vlogging and now I'm back. Um, it's seven o'clock in the morning and I've just got the dogs up and they're eating their breakfast. Now I'm gonna go and let the ducks out. You can hear them. Let's do the geese first. Good morning girls. Now let's get these because they're very excited. The Cayugas always go straight on the pond. These like a little bit of seed, <laughs> as do the geese. This was cleaned two days ago. This is how messy ducks are. So if you're aware, if you're ever getting any. Mum did this a full clean two days ago. But this morning, we've got three eggs. So I'll take them back to the house, give them a wash, and then get the dogs. <laughs> We haven't got an obsession with fabric softener. We just bought the Mrs. Hinch um, Lenore and we already had that one, so we've got two of those. <laughs> Bear takes a little longer to eat his breakfast. So let's leave him in here and I'll go and sort the others. It feels like a winter morning this morning. Madeline's here. It feels like frosty. And I think it's September the 10th. Good morning, princess. That's very sweet. Don't see the book. on a road trip to Middlesbrough which is about two hours 15 from here and we're gonna go and collect a goose um, now I'm gonna pronounce this wrong we've been calling it a Sebastopol goose but I think it's a Sebastopol anyway um, they are white and fluffy and I'll insert a picture of what they look like here and yeah so they're quite like they're um they're a show goose so they're quite rare to get a hold of and the closest I could see to us was sort of like Wiltshire Essex which is like five hour drives away and then this one came up which is two hours away so we're gonna head and get him today um obviously it's gonna be a lot of driving but i thought I'd take you along with us also um the Cayugas, uh one of them calamity the first one we got has started laying so that means she's around eight or nine months old now so i'll go and show you her eggs uh they're green um they lay green eggs um yeah so i'm going to show you her eggs and then i'm going to make a packed lunch and then i'll we'll be heading off to middlesbrough to go and get a goose so these are the original Aylesbury, um, this is a Aylesbury Jemima's egg because she got these huge ones and these are the originals but they've been molten at the moment so we've only been getting two eggs a day but today we've got, um, well yesterday we've got five, today we've got a few and then these are Calamity's eggs so this is her first egg that's why it's tiny and this is her second one that she did today. Girls! Hello. He's a good boy this morning. You got a chicken. You're a clever boy and he's a good girl. They've both been very good. I'm boss, even though she keeps barking at me for a treat. 
Hey little Maddie. Hey little Maddie. Maddie. You're a clever girl. It has been lovely weather the past couple days and it looks like today is going to be another sunny day which is exciting. So I've just made our pat lunch ready to take with us on our trip. We're going to leave the dogs at home with my sister um, just because I don't think they'll enjoy a goose in the, ha in the car on the way home. And then yeah we'll bring him back. We're planning on just literally driving there getting the goose and coming back because otherwise it'll be our whole day gone. So just with Tilly and Flossy, um, there's baby Daisy in there um oh that's funny to daisy but yeah so we're gonna come back later and we're gonna separate the pen so that he's on his own for a little bit but you can see uh, the others especially the girls so he's only 16 slash 17 weeks old and our toulouse geese are now like maybe six months old so they're a bit older than him but she said the lady that we're getting him off said that's a good thing because hopefully they'll mother him instead of being threatened by him so that's good and yeah so i'm quite excited uh, he does have two names at the minute waldo or sebastian uh, we've not decided which we're going to call him so i'll let you know once we know his name officially stopped at the services got a cinnamon and banana porridge never had it before i'm gonna try it and it's a lovely day and we're about an hour and a half away so this is my porridge and it is really nice so you've got cinnamon and banana and it's from leon um yeah so highly recommend if you ever see this for breakfast one night, right, that's, I, I, that's I actually mum the white one she's oh. beautiful so um <coughs> that's amelia so cute amelia. Uh, no that's one of the classrooms Tiny's thinned out a bit and he's had his second malt, he'll look like Dad. Right. Look at Dad! Which one's Dad? This one? Yeah. Which one's Dad? The one at the front? One at the front's Dad. One that's got... I don't know why you've got soft at the back of your head. Hello, Dad. 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 He's quite more calm with them there. He's coming over there. Oh, Mum, look. Good morning, um, I just woke up if you can't already tell by my hair um, and today we are going to the vets this morning with Maddie um, she's having a little bit of joint problems uh, with her legs um, she's already had operations before so we usually know that's the issue so we've got to do that this morning and when I sort this hair out and then um, we're going to check on Sebastian uh, mum's already let them out this morning so hopefully he's okay it's a squirrel. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's all frosty. Um, and I'm going to go and see if we can see Seb. I think we've gone with Sebastian is his name. So here he is with all the cherries. So he's not locked in but he's not come out of the pen yet. Still getting used to his surroundings. He's having a little nosy in the duck house. <laughs> Literally all the cherries and cold ducks are with him. This always happens. They always go in the groups that match. And they do all match Seb. Hi little man. He's still just a bit nervous. The woman did say he was quite shy. Um, because he's wing reared and he's only three months old 
So she said he's a bit wary of humans, but he seems fine. Even like Abby and Lucy were like this when we first got them. And now you know what they're like. He reacted then to Abigail's noise, which is good. He's having a little route round for some food. Hey, Dotty. Hey, Del boy. There he is. Side note, Jenny here is now a boy. So we're going to get a new Jenny. Um, and then obviously he'll get a new name. Because you can see on the back he's got a Drake feather. <laughs> So we have two little boys, there's Jacob and then Jenny, but it may now be Jeffrey. And here's Sebastian. It's a lovely morning, the sun's up there. This is the fields. Good morning, Jacob. So these sticky out feathers that he has by his side supposedly will drop out and he'll get his fresh feathers but it might not be till next year. Um, his dad wasn't like that and she said that his dad did look like this um, when he was born so hopefully these feathers at the side will drop out because they're not supposed to be there. And then he'll just be all fluffy. Because he looks a bit scruffy at the moment but hopefully he'll end up all fluffy and curly. Maddie's at the vets, but uh, I'm in the car because you can only have one person in the vet. There's Floss, there's Floss. Flossy! <laughs> Maddie's beside you. Yeah. So I've had an outfit change and I had a shower and now Hannah and I um, Tom, um, are heading to the traffic centre which is, um, sorry, uh, um, it's only like 10 minutes from us and there's a Primark there and so, well I need Primark, do you need Primark? Have a look anyway. Yeah, we'll have a look, I need a few little bits and then we're going to head for lunch with our cousin Emma and Becky, um, there's like a little pub near the traffic centre. Oh, it's near Event City, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're going to go there as well. So yeah, have fun when we get there. Um, we've both not got any makeup on because it's wear masks. So what's the point? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll film when we get there. center and it is like nine or ten o'clock at night um so apologize for the lighting i've got a lamp here trying to make it a bit bright and apologize for the cat in advance he will be annoying because he's not seen me all day so yeah i've got my pjs on and i want to show you what i got from the shops so first off i got this in the dog version for my dog matilda um i put it downstairs so yeah so she's got the matching of me in the dog version so that's super cute and the lady from the Disney store in the traffic center was very kind and went and checked the back for me and got it for me so that was really nice and she found it in the right size so thank you to her I don't know what her name was um, but yeah she was great so from Primark um, I also did a little shopping and I got this neck pillow which is Minnie Mouse I saw this a few months back um, when they released it like I don't know November last year time and I really wanted it because I go on holiday quite a lot obviously not the moment with the pandemic um, But usually I go on holiday quite a lot and I thought this would be brilliant for the plane So I got this for six pounds and obviously it's Minnie Mouse and it feels really soft It's like kind of like gel and um, yeah, so I got that I got this um, Which is a Bambi makeup 
thing with a makeup case with two bags and this one is six pound and this was initially for a present for um, a friend in Spain who is friends with my mum but she really likes Disney um, but I'm not sure this was like all I could find for her but then when I went in the Disney store I found my Tony's restaurant um, top for her so I've got that so I'm not sure if I'm selling both but if I do um, got this if not got an extra travel bag um, but yeah they had this which I was the main gift I really wanted for her because her favourite movie is Lady in the Tramp so I think I'm going to give her that instead and then um, I got pair of leggings because they're just the three pound like cheap pair of leggings but I wear them every day and I must have maybe six or seven pairs now but I always go through them really fast so always grab a pair of those also last time I went um it was on my last tour whenever that was um I got their joggers in the grey and I really like them I wear them loads and um, so I just got them in this sort of like cream the cats just jumped in the bag I didn't get you from Primark. Is that everything in the bag, Ted? Right, now you can have the bag. Um, I got these earrings, which, if I can get them to focus. There we go, they were two pound for all those earrings, just studs. And then I got this cardigan, which is cream and wool, and super soft, like really, really soft. Um, I just wanted something to lounge, or lounge? I just wanted something to lounge around the house in and if I wanted to walk the dogs and just throw it on because it's sort of getting that weather. You don't want to wear a coat but you still need a jacket. Um, so I got this and this was but in the medium in the colour oatmeal and this was £13 which I don't think is too bad. And that is the end of my haul so I'm just going to get my coffee and then go go jump in bed and put some YouTube videos on and give the cat some attention who's now chilled oh he's not now you were chilled then hello i forgot to show you yesterday the dog outfit that i got for matilda that matches uh, my t-shirt i bought another one over there for a friend but yeah how cute is that it was 12 pound from the disney store if anyone is interested in getting one and this is the medium and it just fit my one-year-old cocker spaniel so if you've got a bigger dog size up Good morning, it's Saturday and we've had Seb for five days now. So let's let them out. Good morning. Oh. just had a shower and I'm gonna dry my hair and then probably not gonna put any makeup on because it's Saturday and I'm not doing anything today um, but yeah so I'm gonna blow dry my hair I'm going to crack the first green cougar egg. Oh, can't do this one handed. And it's the exact same as a normal egg. <laughs> Hey everyone, um, today we are heading to Derbyshire. Um, my mum's friend Nikki, who uh, my dog Flossie bred, um, has had another litter of puppies with Flossie's sister. Um, she's a year older, different litter. Um, so we're gonna head down to Derbyshire today. I'm gonna take some pictures for her of the puppies um, so that she's gotten to keep. She's had six puppies, three girls, three boys. And if I can, I'll insert a little bit of montage footage um, if not, I'll just insert the pictures that I took. Um, I think they're only two weeks old, probably not even that. Um, so they weren't very lively um, and I don't want to disturb them like putting cameras in their face if they don't want to. Um, yeah, but that's what we're doing today. So we've got an hour and a half drive to Derbyshire and then we're going to see the puppies. So yeah, uh, mum's just in the shop getting a snack for us to take with us and then we'll be on our way. And I actually put some makeup on for once in my life. Um, yeah, so dogs are all at home. I uh, didn't want to bring dogs uh, with the puppies. 
um because they're just too young at the moment uh but yeah nikki's got three dogs so i'll show them and yeah uh, also i've only got one memory card so i'm gonna have to split the memory card between two cameras but i'm sure that'll work and yeah i'll film when we get there